Hey guys, Pixie here, and today I'm going to look at stuff for hermit crabs. Let's see. I think I'll get some of this, and I'll get some of that. I'll get some nice food. I'll get some coconut soil. They have some nice cages. And I am going to need something for the soil. So I'll get some of these too. All right. Hey guys, Pixie here, and this is my terrarium that I have my crabs in. It's the one that I showed you at the store. I ended up buying it. It is a good one. It comes with a thermometer and a hydrometer, which will measure the humidity and the temperature. I added the climbing thing recently to the back of it. And you're supposed to keep the tank um, very humid. So when you spray them with the crab misting spray that you can buy, because you don't want to use regular tap water, it leaves like this calcium buildup on the inside of the tank. That's why it looks all funky. But my little crabbies are hiding like to bury themselves and when I bought the crabs I was told that the very young ones are prone to drowning that they're not very intelligent so they recommended putting like the seashell right here in their water bowl and then putting the sponge on top of that and then filling it with water okay. so here are my little crabs <laughs> okay, I bought these little guys when I went to the beach back in August. And when I bought them, I got this teeny tiny little cage to take them home in. And I bought this food for them, which they seem to enjoy, which they're all out of. So when I went to PetSmart, I was looking at the different foods that they had because I also looked at Walmart to see what foods that they had at Walmart and the only thing they had at Walmart was these little shrimpies which for small crabs it's hard for them to eat it so they only like the tiny pieces so I went to PetSmart and I picked out a different kind of food this one has a whole bunch of good stuff in it for them one has fish meal, some corn, but it also has dried squid and and dried egg and shrimp meal and yeast and all kinds of stuff, rosemary extract and different things to pique their appetite, but they don't seem to be enjoying it very much. I think they're bored of their food because they've been eating the same thing. So I did get the coconut soil and um, when you go to PetSmart, you can get one of these little pamphlets right here, which are really good. Tells you what you need, how to take care of them. And it also recommends that you get two different kinds of soil. So I, I stuck with the coconut soil. And then I've got, right now I have these beads. I did have aquarium rocks in here for the longest time, but I switched it up for them. Put one shell in here that's big enough for them, which is hard to find at a lot of the pet stores. I added the 
drift board in here for them to climb on, which they like. And I did not name my crabs. Someone else named them. So we call the one with the white on her on the shell Mrs. Krabs, and we call the other one Mr. Krabs. And I'm not sure how to tell the difference in their sex, but Mrs. Krabs, the one we call Mrs. Krabs, is a little smaller than the other one. And she is the climber out of the two. She climbs up the top of this. She climbs all over the cage. Um, these are the purple clawed Caribbean hermit crabs, which are really cool. They seem very docile. I haven't had any issues. I've only been pinched maybe once and it was because when I took them out of the cage and it was by the bigger one when I took them out of the cage I took them out suddenly and I startled him and he thought that I was um something to climb on so he grabbed a hold of me and also he spit water on me one time which was confusing because I've never seen that happen before but other than that they're very laid back and when you handle these guys, you want to make sure that you wash your hands. You don't have a lot of strong stuff on your hands. Because it'll make them sick. Now, I did read that you could give these guys fresh food. And you can also give them baby food. But I'm not going to give them baby food. But you can give them fruits and vegetables. Because they get bored. And one of the recommended... Oh! I scared her. One of the recommended fruits that you can give them is blueberry. So this is her first time having blueberry. I'm going to stick her right there. And I'm going to get Mr. Krabs out. He is a little bit bigger. He has not changed his shell yet. Um, I read that when they go to change their shell, they will get out of the shell. They'll look at the new ones, decide which one they want. And they'll spend a lot of the time burying themselves in their whatever kind of soil that you have for a couple of days until they're comfortable. And then they'll pick a shell. He's a little skittish. She gets scared easily. Look, look what I got for you. You want to see what it is? You want to see what it is? Oh, you don't want it? You don't want it right now? Okay. And Mrs. Crab is making an escape. So I am going to set him down here with her. They also said that uh, hermit crabs are very social. So they need to have a little buddy. So if you do decide to get one, I'd go ahead and get another one that was in the same cage as the one you picked out. That way you don't have to worry about them fighting or anything. Now I've looked over this book and it says that they're light should be on for about 8 to 12 hours a day. You want to make sure you have a cage that's going to support them. It has a lid. The thermometer and the hydrometer is very important. It also says that you want to change their water. Like every other day should be good. And you want to change their food every other day as well, at least. I mean, you can change it every day. It recommends it, but really, if you change it every other day, it's okay. From what I've seen so far. And you want to do a tank change every so often. But when you do your tank change, you also want to, like, mix up the background a little bit for them. Change it up. Give them something new so they're not bored. He's coming out. There you go. She fell over. Put a little piece of driftwood here for him. Right now, she doesn't seem interested in the blueberry, but I will put it in their cage and see if they'll eat it. It says not to give them more than just a little bit of food, just in case they don't eat it, and you don't ever want to put too much food in there. They are really cute. I like them. 
I, I like these crabs. I also like the little fiddler crabs, but you can't really hold on to them. I still think they're cute. They're not too active unless you get them out and mess with them, and then then they start being very active, which is good. They need they need to be socialized. They need to be touched, and they need to be handled. You make sure you don't have any like lotions or anything strong on your hands, and you always keep your hands clean. You want to wash your hands before you touch them, and after you touch them. Now, for the temperature inside of their cage, you want to keep it between 70 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is 21 to 24 degrees Celsius during the day. You can put a heater in these. I try to get um, not an under, not a heater that goes underneath because I can't get one for this specific model of tank that I got. I, I, I actually bought a heater that goes on the side right here, but it didn't keep the tank warm and I was I was very disappointed in it. So I took it back and got a refund and I just keep the light on and I keep the temperature up in the house a little bit more for them, which seems to help a lot. These guys are very friendly. They don't usually pinch at all. They get scared fairly easy. They're really gentle enough for little kids to hold them. I'd recommend getting these pet kind of pets versus like a hamster or something. When I worked at the pet store, I'd always tell parents, please don't get your kids little hamsters and stuff like that because they, they are nocturnal. So they like to sleep during the day. And when you get them out and stuff, they get all hyper and they can are t they tend to bite. You've got to keep their teeth file down by giving them things to chew on and they're difficult for the kids to hold and then they end up getting squished or hurt they're just not a good practical pet for very young kids these are good beginner pet for anybody really they're easy to take care of low maintenance as far as like your exotic animals like a chinchilla or something which would be a lot more high maintenance than these guys are you want to keep the humidity in their tank between 50 and 80 percent so you want to keep misting it with the dechlorized water which i just go ahead and i buy the specialty waters you can get them from walmart walmart's the cheapest place that i found to buy them for like two bucks and you get a bottle it's about the size of a regular drinking bottle like aquafina or something but it's specialized water just for the hammock crabs so you definitely want to get that if you go to like pet smart or something you're paying about four something for the same bottle want to spray down your cage make sure everything's nice and moist for them make sure you don't get any of the water in their food because then that'll just cause it to melt like um not melt but mildew and dissolve and you definitely don't want that <laughs> he's coming to say hi these guys are very cool They can be quick if you don't keep an eye on them. I don't recommend taking them outside because then they could pick up little parasites, like those little red things. I I call them little chiggers, but I'm not sure what they're called, but they're little red bugs that bite on you. And that could be very dangerous for the hermit crabs, and you don't want to bring anything like that into the house. Um, you want to check their cage every day. Make sure that there's no change in their personality and how they behave, because then that'll show signs of them being sick. And once you get to know them, you'll get to notice their personality a little bit better. You find out things. Like this one I call Mr. Krabs. He's a little more skittish, and you have to approach him certain ways, or he gets scared. He doesn't mind you touching him. 
Mrs. Krabs, the one I call Mrs. Krabs, loves to climb. She loves to explore. They both like being held, and I think that they're both really good animals. They can live up to 10 years. I would recommend getting these little guys. And never set these guys free in the wild because it's they're not going to survive. And it it's just not good for the environment to set captive pets out in the wild. It's just never a good idea. They're not very big at the moment, as you can see. I have seen much bigger. But I think they're a good size to start with. Mrs. Krabs. His big, his uh, pension claw is bigger than hers. So, if it wasn't for the distinction in their shells, you could tell that way. And this concludes my video on my hermit crabs. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will have more random videos to come. See you guys next time. Bye.